Hello everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you some tricks that you can perform in Power Query. So you can see I'm in a blank Power BI report. And to go to Power Query, I can just simply press this Transform Data button. Go to Transform Data. It's going to take me directly into Power Query. Now I need to get my file so I can go to New Source, select Excel Workbook. I'm going to choose the employee file. It's sheet one. You can see a preview right here. So I'm going to press OK. Now, if you look, the first thing I noticed is we've got four columns and it says column one, two, three, and four. And it has the header that we want, employee name, city, state, and position. So if we want this first row to be our header name, what we'll do is you we'll go to the transform tab and there's an option here that says use first row as headers. So I'm select that, and there we have our first row as headers. All right, the next thing I want to do is we have one column that has the employee name, which is their full name. But what I want to do is I want to split it into two columns, for one for last name and one for the first name. So the employee name is already selected. So if it wasn't, I would just select it like this. And then I would go to, we're already in the transform tab. I would choose the split column. It's used by delimiter. It brings up this dialog box. It says enter or en select or enter a delimiter. Well, the delimiter is a space. So we just, we'll just accept all the defaults and press OK. And now that splits our column into two columns. So the first column is our employee's first name. So to rename it, I'm just going to double click it, type in first name. This is the last name column. All right. So now we have five columns. The next thing I want to do is in the state column, you notice we have Columbus, Georgia as our first record. And the other cities underneath Columbus are also in Georgia. If we look down here, we have Charleston, South Carolina, and the rest of the cities are also in South Carolina. So what we want to do is autofill the state column. So I'm going to select the state column, right click it, and there's an option here that says fill. So I'm going to fill down, and it fills down the states that were blank. Let's see what else we want to do. So now what I want to do is create a location column that combines the city and the state. So to do that, I'm gonna go to add column. I'm gonna choose column from examples. Well, let me cancel that. I'm gonna select the columns I want and go column from examples and then from selection. So this is going to detect a pattern. So first thing we want to do is rename the column and call it location. And then the first record is Columbus, Georgia. I want the location in the location column. I want to say Columbus, comma, GA. And then if I go to a second record, it should autofill the rest. And yes, it does. So now we have our location column. 
Just press OK. And there it is. Let's rename our query. We could call it employee. So now what I want to do is create a query that just has the unique positions. So to do that, I'm going to right click in the employee query and choose reference. So now I have a copy of the employee query. Now, if I just want the position column, I'm going to go to the home tab and go to choose columns. Select choose columns and just select the position column. There you have our position column. Now we just need to remove our duplicates. Right click, remove duplicates, and we can rename our query to position. And that's all we can do for right now. So the last step we do is hit close and apply. You know, add those two queries to our data model. And you can see if we go to the, the model view, here's our two queries that we created. And it auto detects our relationship. So we have a relationship from the position table to the employee table. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.